Hi, it's Vanessa Marceau of Allura Wellness with Paige Parsons Roach on camera right now. We're live for Jane Unchained at the Bel Air Treehouse Vegan Bridal Show today with one of the co-founders, Daniela. Hi, everyone. Yeah, so you started The Kind Bride. Yes. Tell us how you started that and what inspired this whole magical wedding, vegan eco-wedding boutique you had today. So I started blogging a little bit as a hobby uh -huh. about vegan weddings because I have a background in wedding photography and I also turned vegan a few years ago. So I wanted Yay. to do some <laughs> gentle activism. Okay. And uh, The Kind Bride was a great transition for me to move from, you know, not being a wedding photographer anymore but still doing weddings. Okay. Creating a platform where I could uh, create a, a vegan wedding directory uh, also displaying real vegan weddings so to show brides that it's not that complicated to right. plan a vegan wedding right. we also feature vendors uh, interviews and uh, inspiration mm. and that kind of led me to think that you know when a um, vegan couple visits a wedding expo they have such a hard time trying to find uh, vendors that fit their beliefs right. right and have to ask questions and these vendors may not know what being vegan entangles there right. are so many different things that you wouldn't think of sure and so that's what I thought you know there should be a vegan uh, fair for them yes. there they don't have to worry <laughs> mm -hmm. and they would just feel right at home so right. that's uh, where I started thinking about you know, creating an event like our event today. So. And this is the first of its first kind ever. in the whole world, the yes. first vegan bridal event. Absolutely. So yes. One of the things I didn't think of is yeah. the styrofoam in the flowers. Even that is yes. something. Every detail here is thought out. There's no animal products in anything, any of the material, the cards, the photography, paper. Right. Every aspect is really thought out. Yes, and we also had a few panelists talk about also sustainability because vegan is and sustainability gets to get hand in hand mm. most of the time so and uh, yeah and I think I see a shift in the wedding industry where even you know regular wedding planners are trying to uh, accommodate for eco-friendly practices now so it's it was an important message to launch today so for other regular businesses involved in the wedding industry to watch out for you know <laughs> the <laughs> vegan crowd yes. <laughs> yes. and even the wedding dresses I I heard you had some wedding dresses. We saw some gorgeous creations. With banana leaves. Banana leaves. leaves. Yes, yes. And so beautiful. There's a lot of uh, uh, momentum in the fashion industry as well with sustainability, not only in the bridal, but uh, there are designers that are working with bamboo silk, you know, and mm. nettle organza. They're really trying to uh, find eco-friendly uh, materials because for vegans it's hard, you know. We right. can't use silk. Right. And we have to resolve to polyester or polyester is not a very eco-friendly no. material and so uh, it's good to see a lot of independent designers yes. do the research yeah. you know and set I think a stage for a revolution in the wedding oh for sure yes. and I think fashion like you said is advancing so rapidly yes. that somebody who wants a traditional wedding and wants those traditional kind of materials and that look and feel can still have it with the, like you said the bamboo silk and all yeah. these other it doesn't have to be just like a hem burlap Sack, burlap sack. If yeah, you're worried about absolutely. that, There's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous options, and that's why we call it the luxe and kind bridal boutique because yes. we really want the the brides to feel glamorous. You know, they don't have to give up that. So right, yeah. Well, what a great job you did. Thank, Thank you. you so Appreciate much. Appreciate you coming. Yeah, we really enjoyed it. It was a beautiful event, and we're gonna now speak with Hedda, one of the owners of this gorgeous Bel Air Treehouse. Thank you. Tell us about these cushions that you are sitting on here. Well, I thought it was really appropriate that we uh, we had a, a, a wedding fair here. Yes. Of course, it's, uh, the, the duh of it is that it's eco and that it's vegan and that it's luxury. That's sort of, to me, luxury and vegan are not mutually exclusive. I think nope. it's the new world order. Yes. Um, but these are actually uh, wedding dresses of uh, Rajasthani uh, gypsy women. Mm. And we have a project in Rajasthan bringing the sound of the Gypsy Kings, or made famous by the Gypsy Kings because it's, it's really a cultural music of a, of a tribe, mm. not, of, not of a particular group. We're bringing that music back to Rajasthan. And so 
we are fusing those sounds, a kind of Indo Gypsy fusion, and the women wow. made the wedding and uh, made the cushions for us. So we, we've got you know, Rajasthan in the house, and that always fills my heart with absolute joy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't feel so great about it, but you know, we had a wedding event, so it was just it had an extra Perfect. like meaning to me, you know. Yeah, so, ahead of time. Yeah. How, how did you come to start this project with the Rajasthani uh, Gypsy Brides? Well, um, Seth, my husband Cedric, um, he was a drummer for the Gypsy Kings. And okay. so when he came to Los Angeles and married me, mm. um, he wanted to bring his culture um, into it. So he, he grew up with the gypsies in the south of France. Wow. Gypsy kings are actually from the south of France, not from Spain. Oh, know, I didn't know that. Spanish, oh, okay. yeah. He wanted to bring that into a, into a modern context. But we're both India files, you yes. know. I, I've been I studying yoga since I was 14. Oh, wow. I'm 58 Long now. Time. I've been a perpetual beginner. I, I teach Kundalini yoga now okay. to the best of my ability, but I have been, I've been a sensualist, you know, I'm a tourist, so I'm, <laughs> it's very hard to give up a few things that you have to give up to be a true yogi. Um, but well, we, you have your own version. <laughs> well, you know, like in the end, you do have to give something up. Um, and he's been up and down India on a motorbike. So we were, in, um, we were invited to, um, to open the Colombo Music Festival um, with a gypsy sort of all-star project. And when we were there, we, we discovered that all gypsies come from Rajasthan. I was like, ah, I'm returned to Rajasthan, you know? So it was just- Oh, wow, gypsies come from Rajasthan, yeah. not from Eastern Europe. No, they don't. That, they are the descendants of the original gypsy tribes, which are actually okay. from Rajasthan. Wow. So, this, it's been a long journey. It's been a long journey um, that we've, we've uh, you know, of, of building trust and understanding differences in cultures and all of those things. So it went from this like, oh, return to Rajasthan to like, oh, return to Rajasthan. You know, it's really, really deep. It's very deep. Very. And, um, we're, you know, we're launching uh, next year and um, not soon enough for the boys because they're exceptional. The, the, the project is called House of the Gypsies and this is a kind of House of the Gypsies too. And so we, we, you know, it's like not an either or anymore, it's an and. Like I feel like we can all do many things that make our heart sing that are also um, part of our responsibility or our mission in this lifetime and that's what we're doing with this project. And. The Treehouse really was born out of 30 years of working with hotels in various capacities, most recently with the Ritz-Carlton Hotel Company and with Shangri-La Hotels and Resorts as their global media strategist and doing um, pretty uh, deep campaigns with them where we were um, asking them to move outside of um, the comfort zone of superficial luxury into more experiential luxury. And, uh, and yet, because they're big corporate organisations, they have, you know, they kind of have restrictions, or they've got, um, you know, they've got, a, they've got an identity that they have to follow until they don't feel like following it anymore. So the the, the combination of being corporate, having a fixed identity, yeah. and being inside of a particular paradigm of travel, which I think is changing dramatically, mm -hmm. um, it's it's harder to embrace some of those. Um, more, um, I'm not sure if enlightened is the correct word for it. I certainly don't like consciousness at all as a word because I think either you're conscious or you're unconscious, but it's like either you're breathing or you're not. So to that extent, we're all conscious. <laughs> well, we hope we are. Sometimes alive. <laughs> sometimes alive. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes half dead. Um, but, but, but just those new paradigm ideas, you know? Maybe which, that are more compassionate. Yes. The planet well, 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 certainly more compassionate. Um, definitely most necessary, but also, you know, difficult to turn the Titanic around. So yeah. we are, um, my husband Cedric and I are two individuals. We can be facile and we can be, um, you know, fast moving and we can apply these things. And initially, when we turned this into a space, uh, that it wasn't vegan. We didn't, although we are vegan, it, we, it wasn't a vegan space. Because I just wanted my little cool hotel, you know? It was yeah. like, oh, this is fantastic. I'm going to have a little boho hotel. And then, like anything, it's like that, 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 that need to go deeper was, was probably more in, you know, sometimes these things are, are put upon you rather than you actually <laughs> wanting to do them. And I realised that what was happening, particularly with the online travel agents, is that um, it's bargain driven. Everything's bargain driven and in fact, you know, we, we, we've lost touch with the deeper value that relates to being a compassionate and caring uh, peoples on the planet. So for example, 
you know, you get some cacao and you have a cacao ceremony mm -hmm. and you, you find this incredible cacao in, you know, deep part, the deep part of Guatemala and then everybody wants to scale it up, yeah. right? And, and not, not everything is supposed to be scaled up. So then you go, okay, well, we'll, we'll, we'll do fair trade. And you go, wow, fair trade, you know? Mm -hmm. And then you realise, well, why shouldn't the people who are the, at the creative force of something actually really benefit? Ah, oh, that means it has to be fair profit. <laughs> I love this concept when you talked about fair profit, that they have more of a share in the profit than just the small little... Oh, then the guy, oh, isn't this great? We, you know, we're paying them 10% more than the you know, normal trading rate for stuff, you know? And, oh, maybe we shouldn't be scaling this up. Maybe it should be, you know, $100 a pound instead of $10 a pound. And the same principle, you know, we had, we, we, we had to apply to the property because, first of all, we're not for everybody. Secondly, we are, are um, we offer incredible value in the heart of Bel Air. Uh, and, you know, it's under, mainly under $200. Like, wow. The, 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 the tree house is breaking down, the, the stri we're striking the Oh yeah, the, the striking thing. is happening in the background, everybody who's just, just starting to watch. We are breaking down from one event and uh, creating a new, smaller, <laughs> intimate, uh, tasting yeah. party. So Which we'll show you a little bit of. Yes, yeah. we'll show you that yeah. in a little so, bit. But yeah. we're, so, yes. so it was like, okay, you know, there's, you know, we're offering value. We are, um, all are welcome. We are creating a space of shelter inside of a new paradigm. It's a little hideaway. You know, there's Kundalini Yoga. We care about the water. You know, it's a the can of water. We've got um, Mountain Valley Spring Water. We, we, we uh, source uh, biodynamic where possible. Shout out to One Gun Ranch in Malibu and to Apricot Lane Farms who've got uh, more attention than One Gun Ranch because they just won at Sundance with their biggest little farm in America. So, but shout out to them because these guys are applying very ancient principles of, of creating um, and growing food according to the cycles of the moon, which we all used to understand. Um, so anyway, we, 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 we're wanting to go deeper. And, so, and, 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 and I think one of the first things that we did was we asked people to take off their shoes at the door. And in every other country in the world, people just naturally take off their shoes. But, yeah. you know, we were having people going, oh, my gosh. We, we, we had reviews where it said, oh, and we had to take our shoes off. And I went, okay, okay, who are we? We're vegan, right? We're 100% plant-based. All right. You know, what are we? We're alcohol-free. So we do high-vibration elixirs and smoothies and potions and... Okay, who are we? Well, we, you know, well, we look bohemian and that might mean that we are, you know, pro-marijuana. We're neither pro or against. We're just having a non-smoking space. So, you know, we have patios and we've got decks and people say, glass for a glass of wine, you know, on the deck. And, you know, we, we, you know, when you close your door, you still have the right to privacy. But what's happened is by declaring who we are, not being wishy-washy or not being... I want to be cool and popular. We are having the most exceptional human beings showing up at this space. Incredible. So it's like the world is coming here. The conversations are outrageous, are unreal, incredible. I feel great hope for the planet, actually, because there is a quantum shift in how people are with each other. The fact that there even is a, we even had a kind wedding event, you know, that we even had a vegan wedding event. I mean, I, was, I think you were talking about being vegetarian from an early age. I was vegetarian from the age of 19. I'm 58 now. Um, so it's, you know, it used to be like, oh, you weirdo. Uh, I, I had one of my daughter's friends come around the other day and she said, Heddy, you were really ahead of your time, you know. I mean, I was this, I was this weirdo who would, like, have my tattoos, but I'd pull, pull my kids out of parties and would have, you know... Uh, <laughs> Go meditate and do yoga. Yeah, you know, alcohol free. I, I used to say we had a brown rice and French champagne lifestyle. Now, yes. now it's just the brown <laughs> rice. Sometimes it's not even that because apparently grains are. Anyway, we, like <laughs> you know, so so everything's changing and shifting. And it's good to be weird now, so we're accepting that. We're accepting <laughs> that us uh, being um, uh, true to well, that heartbeat, our inner heartbeat, and it can mean different things to different people. And so. Even though we're a plant-based space, you know, a hashtag, a hashtag, we've got two hashtags, give me shelter and all are welcome. And we, we really mean that, you know, and so you don't have to be a, a, you know, a vegan to show up here. And many people are not, but they feel that this is like a, an expression of how they would like to see 
it, which means you don't have to change that much. You just have to give up meat, but it doesn't mean you have to give up the taste of uh, the, the the pleasure of taste. Right. It doesn't mean that you you have to give up you know luxury and living well because my my feeling is that the higher forces, the higher universe, is actually wanting to have us express joy you know and in our joyfulness and in our prosperity we are you know setting ourselves free and then setting everyone else free we have a, a deep devotion to uh, uh, for example Krishna uh, and Krishna is Christ in Sanskrit so people you know are suddenly finding that some of these you know weirdo things that were going on are actually really just about you know kind of and I'm going to use the word consciousness, but unity consciousness, like this unity force, we're all one, you know, we're expressing ourselves in different ways. Right. And, um, and then I think I was telling you, you know, that I was like, wow, these incredible people are showing up. This is fantastic. Like, oh, she said, we must be like really like, you know, raising our frequency or something. And then this woman came to stay and she said, and she's, a, she's an interspecies communicator and she works with the Davis of the planet and she works with the... With the um, plant king kingdom in particular and the tree and well, I've known that we've had an oak tree on the planet I know that every half a mile two trees a grandmother and a grandfather tree connect with a human being and that we kind of create a new um, a, a new frequency however she said to me that we have a minor planetary chakra on the property and wow. so that meant firstly number one huge responsibility but secondly it's not me at all <laughs> Maybe it's you choose no. each other. It's working together. No, the tree, the tree house has a life of its own. And actually, I had a Reiki master in the place, and she and she reiki the tree house. Because normally, you reiki a human being, or maybe a, you know, um, thinking about simply divine botanicals. We started the whole trend of reikiing um, uh, botanical formulations, and she reiki the tree house, and, she, and the tree house said, "With or without them, you know, <laughs> with or without them, like we're going to do this with or with or without them." And so. I think everything's raising its frequency. I don't understand actually what that means, um, although I know that um, my life uh, becomes easier when I'm not in resistance. And so the Treehouse, if you get the chance to look at the guest books, because we have, you know, we, we shut the place down for this event, you'll see like people are really moved by the space and they feel the tranquility. We make a big effort, we have crystal grinning. Arthur Franklin from Light Body Designs. We have um, the crystals come from Bella Horizonte um, in, in Malibu or out of Malibu. And, you know, we have this really incredible group of people who are supporting um, the, the raising of the frequency. Daniela found us. Uh, Laura and I, you know, got together because Daniela was still in Italy. Amazing. I mean, just amazing. And, and there's a different energy to how we collaborate. I, I was saying to the girls that the collaboration was joyful, you know, the collaboration was easy. Like you would think, you know, to some extent, this is a place that usually, you know, we walk them up to around 55 people um, in sort of sacred numerological uh, order. And we probably had over 150 people pass through here today. But there was no sense of any friction. There was no sense of, uh, uh, of lack of peace or anxiety because of the tone and the type of people who showed up. It was, it was extraordinary to see that. And so I guess, you know, when you have a peaceful heart, even if we're all, you know, raising up in different ways and as seekers, you know, it can be messy. I think life is really messy. <laughs> I think life is really messy, you know. <laughs> so, even though that's going on, the frequency of the event was was I, I thought was very extraordinary. So I thought it's kudos to Daniela for. It was a beautiful, kudos to very Daniela. compassionate event. I was going to say, let's go upstairs and see what's. Happening. I want to show off these cushions again, yeah, absolutely. and if you're just thank joining you, us, us. Yes. Well, thank you to Nehru Khan, these incredible Rajasthani musicians who come to the treehouse and cook dal on the floor of the oh treehouse. I mean, we, we, we've Love got to stories to tell, but yes, there's a lot of there's a lot of blessings. This, this is this space feels so peaceful and tranquil, and I just want to get I just want to I just want to show. Upstairs. Thank you so much, Hada, and absolutely. Oh, absolutely. That's right. there. Hang on. I'm in the fairy kingdom. I feel like I'm in a fairy kingdom with that. That sound is so transporting and so beautiful. 
Let's go upstairs and see the magic that's going to happen Ladies, there. Guess Could you first. tell us, as we're walking, what crystal gridding is? Well, crystal is, 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 we use quartz crystals. There's other crystals that you can use, but we actually put them into uh, the at a, at a quadrant into the corners of the space, and it creates a, a, a frequency and keeps the energy clear in that space. So you won't see it in all the corners, but you'll see, you can see that, you know, we've got crystal, it in the crystal in the corners to clear the space. Yes, hello. <laughs> Way to go, everybody. An incredible event. This is amazing event. Oh. <laughs> we so appreciate your opening this beautiful space that's so powerful and Thank you. Well, well, it's it's actually down to Laura because we had such a love fest when we connected that I would have said yes to anything. And there was a moment there. There was a moment there where, where you know, like this is like, okay, when, when Sam and I got married, we got married here and we had maybe 100 people and then I'm thinking, oh, my God, the, the whole space is being changed and it's so intentional. And then, you know, sometimes you just have to fart, right, and let it go. <laughs> In French, he said, I think you just need to fart. You probably you know, know this I, expression. I do not Let's know this expression. Something, in let it go. It's a let it go expression. <laughs> let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Oh, oh, also, because we're a little bit. This is on the pizza plant. Pizza plant. Oh, oh I God, mean, it's absolutely so exceptional. delicious. It's and so come, and, come and eat. Oh, my gosh. Come and eat. I'm like, we're going to this, be eating shortly. This Marvin, is how you can hypnotize us. I will walk wherever the pizza is. We're gonna follow oh, the there. pizza. Wow. We're gonna follow we're gonna the pizza. We're gonna get some home. Okay, Ooh, we're so yeah. excited. I guess we're gonna have a tasting. I just wanna take a moment and nod to the spirituality in every single corner. The, the crystal gridding is so amazing. The crystal gridding, wow. And they're beautiful. beautiful. Yep. But, it, but it's, it's kind of, it's sort of a da. Like, it's not like, a, oh, namaste, namaste. Although I'm wearing, uh, I'm wearing uh, Michelle, Michelle from Bizu Bizu's t-shirt. But it's not that. Like, we, we, we keep it real, but we do all of the things that you need to do if you want to be able to take your hands off the steering wheel a little bit and surrender to like higher forces. I mean, that's, well, that, that's you, you set do. it up and then you kind the, the, of let the, things the, happen. The, 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 yeah, you have to let things happen. Because yeah. we're a long time dead, right? And when we're gone, none of this stuff matters. So we get a little attached to things. There is no belonging, really. Yes. No property. Wait a minute. Oh She's holding all the pizza boxes. I'm going to follow you. Right? Look, look at this. these gorgeous. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh this. my gosh. Look at this gorgeousness this and the beautiful pansies. Is the pink salt cuisine. Is that right? Besides being good, oh beautiful. It's Delicious. It's delicious. It's delicious. Oh it's wow! Delicious. And pink salt is a we plant. Do a live tasting. Yes, catering. We're okay. Going to right now. Let's We're going to be do. Tasting. Let's do. We have know. the owners of the uh, pink salt over here. We'll see them okay. in just a moment. Yes, and have, and I want well, lentil try. walnut pate. Okay. And this is going to be drying. And, we're and should I put something on top? I don't it's do all just like that. Yeah, I would try just like that. So delicious. Hello. Hello. We are live on Jane and Jane. Hello. The tasting yes. 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 I'm so grateful yes. to be here that with Danny. That is delicious. Oh, oh my god, that's amazing. You, you need to try the salami the and then the goat, goat cheese. cheese. Oh yeah. like well, like goat cheese. Everything here yeah. is plant based, so yeah. we make all of our food with love. We are one of the only catering companies here in Los Angeles not serving any animal products at all. Mm -hmm. And everything is made with love. And so this is our plant based charcuterie board, and we have several options. It takes our chef, Hope Bailey, one of the founders of Pink Salt Cuisine, over two weeks to make some of these products that you guys are trying today. And it's all made with love, so I hope you guys enjoy. Oh, oh it's so fantastic. Cheese, right? And how did you two meet, Daniela? Uh, I think we connected. Uh, I think we connected via, via your amazing blog. Yeah, and then we met yeah. her when she yeah. came out yeah. for yeah. Vegan you know, Fashion, fashion Week. Week. Yeah. And so she was here yeah. visiting so from LA. Yeah. And yeah. I met Everything you on Super Bowl Sunday. And yes, we, had, and we started thinking um, about yes. let's do a bridal fair. Yeah. You know? And then so, it all works out, and yeah. here we are. I'm going to back up this way just to get the. She's just a beauty. maple chip. They're oh, gorgeous. We do try the salami too. It's, it's, Ooh, it's all Jesus. made with, um, it's all plant-based. This is the salami? Mm -hmm. The salami that's just to die for, even if you just 
Yes. Ooh. Green. Oh, Green they're goddess. Mm. So spicy. So I love the flavors. I'm gonna go with this. Mm. And these are blistered grapes. So these blistered are grapes. And let's grapes. think about compostable. Mm -hmm. Right? It We're not yeah, yeah. using plastic. Or leaper, that's compostable. All our vendors are eco-friendly. So that's what we love about them. Not only vegan, but also eco-friendly. Eco -friendly. So yes. important Somebody's to be saying, kind to the planet and animals. Yes, that's saying, that's when are we going to go on a safari together, all mm. of us? Let's do it! <laughs> vegan safari. Being said, a vegan safari mm. with the oh, beautiful good. food this display. It's so beautiful gorgeous. crystals we will take photos different for pieces sure. and, and everything. The pieces. By the way, What's these pizza salad? boxes, this is, the artwork on the pizza box is created by a person who is homeless. And um, yes, yes, they do a lot with the, the pizza plant. Yes, yeah, they work they with them. They have a huge yeah. uh, truck and they go to events with they their truck and they do catering. Yes. And Marvin, the Marvin Akuna, an and apparently all these every every pizza purchase they give away a pizza box. Yep. They give a whole oh, pizza really away really as well. Box. So phenomenal and wow! So we're having some pizza, some pink salt some cuisine, salad, some of our greens so that we have. Wow! These peppers. Photos are coming. Mm. What are these? What are the sauces on the peppers? Pizza plants. Um, the the poppers from the the pizza place. They're jalapeno Ooh. poppers. Ooh. Jalapeno poppers. Yeah, oh, delicious! Look at this sanctuary well, up I here. Mean, and we're How being can you fed. not this be in bliss with this gorgeous setting oh, here? Just awesome. hanging out. Nature is so healing. Why would we want to destroy yeah. nature? Look at all this. Vanessa, tell us, um, just to wind up this, um, you know, this is so exciting. You met a lot of great vendors today mm -hmm. that I know you're excited to reconnect with for Elora Wellness. I sure am. We're in construction right now on Elora Wellness, knee deep in it. We're planning about two months, we think, before we open, and it's going to have a similar vibe vegan, organic, fair trade, non-toxic, sustainably sourced. I want a whole village feel that it's not me running it, but that it's a collaborative of different people with creative ideas all collaborating. We're gonna have food, products, healing arts, dance, performing arts, everything you need for health and wellness all in one place with a similar kind of feel. All that um, Hedda was talking about here is such an inspiration and nothing that hurts the environment. If we give you the same products and services that look as good, feel as good, taste as good, and are as affordable as the cruelty-filled non-eco options, then why wouldn't you pick them? There's no reason you wouldn't because we're going to be offering you beautiful things like banana leaf wedding dresses they were talking about that are good for you and for the environment. So we hope to, we'll, we'll have a big opening party and we'll definitely be going live ahead of time, but definitely invite you all to Alora Wellness in Altadena. And this has been such a joy being here today at this event. And I want to pass the um, camera over to Paige so she can get here. some of these deliciousness over. Going to slide this over so you can try. Which pizza is this? This looks like a, a delicious sautéed mushroom. Mm. It looks like there's a scrumptious cheese on top. It's got the, um, oh, look at that broccoli. incredible broccoli. And wow, they have some delicious gorgeous. flowers on top. Mm. Okay, let's try and see how you mm. like that. Mm -hmm. Look at this beautiful mm. setting. Mm. Yes, Tom, isn't it great? Hi, Linda, nice to see you. Ooh, it looks like it's making Paige dance. Paige is putting on her dance, her pizza dance. <laughs> really delicious. So, plant, pizza plant, pizza plant, mm -hmm. and this event has been incredible. It has been a whole day of wedding, vegan wedding, organic, sustainable. We have been at the very first ever vegan bridal fair right here in the heart of Los Angeles in Beverly Hills. We thank you for joining us today. Vanessa and I have had an incredible time. We look forward to seeing you again on Jane Unchained. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Bye.